What's going on guys, this is Sam. Today I'm here with the Apple HomePod. I recorded a quick unboxing downstairs, but the video quality was pretty bad. So I wanted to recap my impressions and thoughts on this speaker right here because it is actually incredible. You've probably heard that before if you've been looking at other HomePod reviews and first impressions. I just started listening to this a few minutes ago. The setup experience for the HomePod, like anything else, was really easy. You just hold your phone next to it, you go through a few steps, you sync your Apple ID, you can turn on personal requests, which is a feature that allows you or anyone to ask the HomePod to read your text messages or set reminders or notes. If you have a lot of people living in your house, there's no voice detection built into this to detect different people yet. So your mom or someone or anyone else, sister, brother, relative, person living in your home could access all your text messages by asking your HomePod. So you may want to disable that if you're not comfortable with that. I live in a dorm room by myself at college, so that's not really something that I have to worry about. And after that, the rest of the setup process is really cool. I actually liked how interactive it was near the end. Siri asked you to ask her questions and you get to talk to Siri and actually play around with it. Siri's voice sounds the best that I've ever heard it sound on the HomePod. And of course, what really matters is how music sounds on this. And to test that out, I found a great royalty-free song that does a great job, has pretty good mastering of a good range of sound. Lots of highs, lots of mids, lots of lows. You get to hear the mix really well. I don't know how it will translate to your device. Obviously, wearing headphones will give you the best experience, but this is a quick listen as to how the HomePod sounds. Number one takeaway I got from that listen is the bass on this is the best I've ever heard on a portable speaker. I have a Sonos Play 1, but the bass on this was so much more clean and punchy and bold, but at the same time, it didn't overtake the other sounds either. It was able to keep that clean sounding mix without blowing the bass out. I think that the Beats team had a lot to do with this because that's what Beats is known for. I would say that it's a little bit bassier than other speakers that I've heard, but I really like the way that that sounds. My Sonos Play 1 doesn't have the best bass. It's there, it's okay but the bass on the HomePod was the biggest takeaway for me. Second biggest takeaway was the clarity no matter where I was in the room. This has some insane features that allow it to detect exactly where it is in a room. Like this knows it's sitting on a table, that the wall's right there, that there's other walls around here, and it basically creates this model of your room, sort of like a scene from The Dark Knight where you can see where people are based on sonar waves. And it sort of creates a version of that, an audio map of your room. But what that means is that no matter where you're standing, it, it sounds really great. I was either in that corner or that corner or behind me or right here. And this speaker continued to amaze me of how great it sounded regardless of where I was in the room, which really blew me away. And the last takeaway I had from listening to that song was the loudness. I've never heard a speaker this small get this loud and remain that clear. I only had it playing at about 45% volume for the listening test that I recorded on this microphone. But when you turn it up and hear it in person, I could not believe that this speaker was producing the sound that I was hearing. It, it looked like and it felt like I had a tower speaker about this tall from the ground that was putting out the sound. The only criticism that I have off of this initial listening test is that the highs didn't sound the best. They sounded to get mixed in with the mids a little bit and it wasn't the clearest separation that I'd like. This is only the first audio test. This is not my full review. I've only listened to three or four songs on this, including the one that I played for you guys. So this is not my final audio review but for 349 you get really great bass decent mids and highs you get a really heavy but small speaker that gets really loud and you get Siri if you like all that I guarantee you're gonna like the HomePod if you use Apple music you're gonna love the HomePod if you don't use exclusively Apple products and services probably not gonna like the HomePod because Spotify integration is there through AirPlay but not really anywhere else you can ask it to pause or play or skip but it is not built in natively to the speaker. It's gonna work best with Apple Music and any other Apple services 
like iMessage. If you like that, I think you're gonna love the HomePod. I can tell you that I'm very impressed by it. $350 is a lot for a smart speaker. You can get an Amazon Alexa Echo Dot for $50 on Amazon, usually cheaper. This is this is a lot. So we'll have to wait to see how it sounds exactly in my full review, but these are my initial impressions. If you enjoyed this video, it does help me out if you take just one second to drop a like down below. And of course, hit subscribe for more videos like this in the future. If you'd like to help support the channel, as always, you can head over to iUpdateOS.com slash merch. I just added a new pullover and hoodie and canvas print of wind pods. If you want to check that out, that would be incredible. For now, I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing great. I'm going to keep listening to the HomePod, and I'll talk to you in my next video.